All right, Justin, now to the coronavirus. At this point, it's likely that either you or someone you know has had COVID since the start of the pandemic. Now UCSF has launched two research projects to find out more about how long COVID is affecting people and the prevalence of long COVID in our local communities. Now joining us via Zoom is Dr. Jeffrey Martin, UCSF medical professional and professor in epidemiology and biostatistics. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Martin. Good morning. Thank you. All right, well, let's first start out with what long COVID actually is for those who aren't too familiar and how common is it? Well, fortunately, the good news that is that most patients will recover uh, within uh, one or two weeks after uh, their COVID, but unfortunately, uh, some don't. And it's the symptoms that either persist uh, from the initial period or that develop short after shortly after are what we call long COVID. The, the most common of these are uh, fatigue, shortness of breath, uh, pain, particularly a headache, uh, difficulty concentrating, we call that uh, uh, sometimes called brain fog, and uh, various uh, problems with uh, sleep. These are really the most common symptoms, but a variety of others have also been attributed to what we call long COVID. Yeah, and Dr. Ma Dr. Martin, are there any indications as to what causes long COVID? You know, are there people who are more likely to get long COVID, such as people with underlying health conditions? Right. Um, this is very much what we're trying to um, uh, understand. At uh, at this point, I think we can say uh, women tend to uh, uh, be at higher risk, uh, and individuals who had a more uh, severe course during their initial infection. Uh, uh, also, actually getting a, a vaccine uh, does appear to uh, reduce markedly the uh, chance of getting long COVID, although not uh, absolutely so. In terms of uh, causes, uh, we're really more in the stage of uh, a theory and hypotheses now rather than uh, uh, proven facts, although a, a couple things are uh, very much uh, on the table, including persistence of, of the virus, uh, or an initial disruption of the immune system that uh, really doesn't go away within a, smold within a smoldering inflammation, or maybe it's the presence of ongoing small uh, blood clots that uh, may cause things. But this is actually exactly the, the nature of the research that we need to uh, uh, begin. Yeah, you know, very quickly, we've got about 45 seconds here, but if you can tell us just, is there a way that residents can participate in these two research projects? Yeah, uh, through the National Institutes of Health, um, uh, UCSF uh, is participating in what's called the Recover uh, Project, and I believe the website is being shown uh, here. Uh, we're interested in individuals uh, right now who are in uh, the first 30 days from their COVID infection, both people who've been doing uh, well and those uh, who are, are not. And we're particularly interested in the communities who've hit, been hit the hardest uh, by COVID, particularly the uh, Latino and uh, Black communities. Yeah, Dr. Martin, definitely things to have more information on, and we need more research on it. Thank you so much. We